In this video titled, Three Keys to an Integrated Marketing Initiative, we'll explain how three marketing concepts, the purchase funnel, creating value, and market segmentation can be combined to form an integrated marketing initiative. Let's start with the purchase funnel. The metaphor of a purchase funnel reflects the idea that contemporary marketing has evolved from a simple buyer-seller transaction to a much more holistic customer relationship experience. It tends to unfold in stages. Social psychologist Edward E. Jones coined the term ingratiation to describe it. Though it's a big word, ingratiation simply means you must rely on the ability to influence customer desire. It is shown here as a process of enticing people down a path that will ultimately lead to winning their business. The first task is to make people aware of what you offer. Those interested enough to enter the funnel are apt to do so with the intent of finding out more about your brand rather than make an immediate purchase. At this point, they are interested in a solution that goes beyond merely meeting their needs to also satisfying their motives and preferences. In other words, they are seeking the best solution for them. The challenge for marketing is to create the kind of value that will fulfill their desire better than any other product or service. In another video, we explored in detail the concept of creating value. As explained there, it's grounded in the idea that value is the perceived benefits relative to the price or cost a consumer must pay. The perceived benefits may be social, functional, physiological, or psychological in origin. The cost is a function of whether the potential customer is both willing and able to pay for the product or service. If you're able to assemble a mix that makes your solution more attractive than others, also known as the value proposition, then you'll stand a good chance of getting the interested prospects to go further into the funnel, possibly even all the way to making a transaction. Though this purchase funnel process may sound simple enough on the surface, anyone who's ever tried to create customer value for a profit will attest it's not all that easy to do. For one thing, the original pool of interested customers may actually look something like this. While they share a common underlying need, they may have radically different motives and preferences. This is where the concept of market segmentation can help. If you are able to detect the motives and preferences that make a critical difference to consumers, you can then break down the larger pool of potential customers into smaller groups or segments. In this example, we have depicted four segments, where each has a different set of expectations when it comes to creating value beyond just need. Market segmentation is a fairly common practice. Most major automobile manufacturers, for example, will offer different product lines with each product line aiming to fulfill the motives and preferences of a specific target segment. For instance, while the potential customers share a common need for transportation, the luxury car buyer is likely interested in having the added psychological satisfaction of a status symbol too. Another customer, meanwhile, may settle for an economy car because that's all he's able or willing to purchase. Now that we know what market segmentation is, Let's look at the three main benefits it provides. First, it is clear that perceived value can mean different things to different people. By enlisting market segmentation, you can create a more optimized value proposition for each customer segment. This, in turn, will increase the odds for acquiring a maximum number of customers from the original pool of interested prospects. Second, Market segmentation can help you to stay competitive. As noted earlier, potential customers are searching for the best available alternative, and your competitors are likewise attempting to woo them with their value proposition. You may even find yourself in competition with a different competitor or set of competitors for each market segment. And third, when done well, market segmentation typically comes with the opportunity to extract efficiencies on the investment side of the business ledger. It's almost certain you'll be able to reduce the overall investment 
by consolidating similar or overlapping costs among the segments. Consider, for example, how the same display case could be used to offer multiple products without directly inflating the cost for the space. So there you have it. By combining the concepts of the purchase funnel, creating value, and market segmentation, you'll have an integrated foundation for attracting new customers and for retaining old ones. An integrated marketing initiative is the key to growing a business over time.